Hi, my name is Linda Miner and I'm a registered nutritionist and on this video I'm going to be talking to you about Candida. Now if you have joined iChange.com and have signed up for my program then you will have already done your Candida assessment and you should have your score by now. So your score is not ranked out of a total number but it is more um, what your total adds up to that gives us an idea of what your risk is. So if your score is less than 60, then you're at basically no risk of candida. Very, very low possibility that you have that. So if that's you, then that's great. If you're between 60 and 120, you're at a low risk. And there is a possibility that you could have a little bit of candida problem. If you're between 120 and 180, there's a moderate risk. And now we need to take a look at that and make sure that um, no issues are going to uh, develop any further and if your score is over 180 then you're at a very high risk of candida and we definitely want to take a look at that. I have found in my nutrition practice that many people have candida issues and we really can't go any further with nutritional assessment or looking at chronic conditions until the candida has been dealt with because it is often at the core of the health and chronic problems. So if you do have a, a high score, especially anything over 120, let's take a look at that and make sure that you're getting that managed. Now, there are a few things that you wanna do. One is to start to kill off some of the candida. Now, candida is natural. It it's, lives in the intestines. It's something that we need to be alive, but the problem is that it can become overgrown. And this can happen through excessive use of antibiotics, prescription drugs, exposure to pollution, toxins, eating a lot of processed foods, uh, negative things that happen in the body that cause the intestines to become out of balance. And so what we wanna do is bring the intestines back into balance. So you have to be cautious though how you do this. You don't wanna just kill off the candida. You wanna strengthen your intestines at the same time because both things are happening. The candida has become strong and the intestines have weakened. So let's build up the intestines as we um, kill off the candida. So in my opinion, uh, I believe you should build up the intestines first and strengthen those so that your body is prepared um, to manage the uh, waste that will occur when the candida starts to die off. So there are a number of things that I recommend for that. The first thing I recommend is probiotics. I realize you can't see this bottle on the screen there. Um, this particular bottle has 70 billion probiotic cells and it's got a number of different probiotic cultures in it and that's really important that you get as many different cultures as you possibly can not just acidophilus or bifidus but some of the others as well um, the better the probiotic uh, it's worth it to spend more money uh, the better it is the faster you'll get your intestines strengthened and get your body working properly so you want to get the best probiotic you can possibly afford uh, don't just get the drugstore variety you need to go to health food store and make sure that you get a good one the next thing that you want to do is start taking garlic or even using more garlic in your food. Um, this is a brand of garlic that I happen to like, which is Kyolic, but there are many others out there. Garlic is a natural antifungal, but it also helps to boost the immune system and strengthen the intestines. The next thing you want to do is get some flaxseed. Now this flaxseed has already been ground up. Um, I actually buy this for my dog to mix in with my uh, the dog food. It's better to buy uh, flaxseed that's not ground up, but I just had this one here to give, show as an example. What flaxseed does, it's a natural anti-inflammatory because it has a lot of omega-3 fats in it. Um, it is uh, a, bulk, a bulking agent for the stool and when toxins start to die off in your body or any toxins that you have in your body, in order to get them out of your body, they need to bind with fiber in order to be excreted. So we definitely want to have extra fiber going into our diet to move those toxins out of our body. Flax also creates a very healthy environment in the intestines for the good bacteria to grow. So we want to have that. Um, some of the other things that I recommend for most clients are full spectrum digestive enzymes. And full spectrum means that they digest carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. And you wanna make sure that you're getting a good list of enzymes uh, in the package. So look for full spectrum enzymes. People who have digestive issues, uh, people who have gas, belching, heartburn, indigestion, 
uh, irritable bowel. Typically these people need digestive enzymes in their diet and I recommend enzymes for almost everybody because many many people have digestive issues and even if they don't realize they have digestive issues it turns out they do. If you're constipated Digestive uh, enzymes are the number one thing that I recommend because that's a sign that you're not digesting your food properly and it's not working its way through the system. So we want to get things moving and flushing out of the system and that's very important. Now one of my favorite products, all-around all products, is silver. This is a bottle of colloidal silver and it just comes in a spray. I'll just show you. It just mists on your hand and what you do is spray it under your tongue. Just like that. just tastes like water has a little bit of a metallic taste but not too much and silver is a very powerful antibacterial and what it does is it helps to kill the candida in your system so if you have a score especially if you have a score over 180 I definitely recommend that you pick up some colloidal silver and start spraying it inside the other thing that you can do if you have a vaginal yeast infection if you're a woman or if you're a male and you have jock itch or athlete's foot, you can spray the silver directly on the affected area. So you can spray it directly on your genitals or on your feet, or if you have nail fungus, spray it directly on there. It will not burn or sting because it's basically suspended in water. So that's a very good choice. Uh, I recommend having silver in the house in general because it kills so many different bacteria. If you get a cut on your hand, you want to spray some silver on there. Uh, if you get food poisoning or E. coli, it will kill that. So spray it under your tongue and get it working in there. Uh, the final item that I like to use is something called oil of oregano. You can take it internally under your tongue. It tastes awful absolutely awful it's disgusting uh, but it works really well now you don't want to use it for more than two weeks in a row because it is very powerful and acts someone like it somewhat like an antibiotic in that way that it kills a lot so don't use it for more than two weeks and then two, take two weeks off and then you can start again but this is very effective at fighting seborrhea or dandruff and that is also a fungal infection so you can mix that in with some um, uh, what I recommend is washing your hair and then getting some hair conditioner and mixing the oil of oregano in with the hair conditioner, putting that through your hair and leaving it on your scalp overnight, and that will uh, help to kill the fungus that causes dandruff and seborrhea. You can also spray the silver on your scalp, depending on how much hair you have, that'd be hard for me, but you can do that if you have specific spots right around the edge or on the back of your neck, you can use that as well. So candida is really, really important to get under control because it causes so many other chronic health problems. If you have a high score, please don't hesitate to contact me and let me know what your specific health conditions are and hopefully I'll be able to help you resolve those. Um, also come and find me on the live chat and my live calls and bring your questions there. It's hard to answer everything right here in a video, um, but I'm uh, eager to help all of you to resolve this and to make sure that uh, it doesn't get any worse because if the candida continues to grow and get worse, you will most likely become very sick and end up with some chronic health concerns. So thanks for watching and good luck with getting your candida under control and I'll talk to you soon.